Hi, I'm Alex Lang. I'm a barrister at Coram Chambers. And I'm Madeleine Weird, and I'm a barrister at One King's Bench Walk. So one of the things I wanted to, us to think about is, obviously we see more and more international families um, and they feature in the family justice system. What sort of impact have you seen that having? Well, in public law particularly, I and mean, of course it impacts across the whole range of the system, but um, I think what we've seen in recent years is families coming to court with maybe very ordinary neglect sort of circumstances, but they've ended up here having come from perhaps another European country, yeah. um, and they haven't been in this jurisdiction very long, and the court in those circumstances has to really grapple with the issues of who these children are and what is their nationality and how does that impact? Because if you're contemplating perhaps removing a small baby from their family um, and you might be thinking about whether adoption might be the outcome for that child, then to have that child adopted by a British family can sometimes seem a bit strange if their background is hungry or something like that. And I suppose in in that sort of case, you have both the, the cultural aspect where their home country might take a really different approach to adoption and then you also have the the practical legal difficulties which is that their status would change in this country mm-hmm. but their status then then wouldn't change in in their home country and you have the limping infants or limping adoption orders yeah and often you have you um you need to get the other country involved in some yeah. way don't you and um it may not just be the family that's uh, participating in the case and involved and opposing the adoption um but you may have uh, the other state actually saying we don't think our Hold national on. should yeah. be adopted and yeah. that creates the, the family courts haven't had to deal with those sorts of issues before and of course what we haven't said is there's that initial jurisdictional hurdle mm-hmm. and there can be a whole battle about about jurisdiction before you even get to looking at welfare and of course one of the changes we might soon see is is brussels to revised disappearing mm-hmm. the jurisdictional scheme we're familiar with going and a, a whole new jurisdictional world coming into being yeah and we're going to have to go back to basics in a sense yeah. and look at some of the old um, older conventions that have not been used as much over the period that yeah. we've had um, the European re- regulation. Yeah.